Hello and welcome to Down the Rabbit Hole with the Dast. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. Calm down, everyone, calm down. So, if you don't know, the series is all about finding certain topics and, well, we go down a rabbit hole. That is the point of the series. I hope to continue it for a long time. With that being said, let's get into it. When you think of cooking YouTubers, you think of the finest cuisines known to man. The Chef Boyardees of the YouTube cooking space. And today, we are going down the rabbit hole of Kay's Cooking. If you don't know who Kay is, I'm going to educate you real quick. So, Kay is like a... She's like a small cooking YouTuber, but she's also really well known. Um, for like her miraculous dishes, her, her unique cooking techniques. Bright and ever loving smile with a side of good old humor. Um... Some other stuff to know, she is from the UK, rounding up to about 250,000 subs as of recording this, with an average of 473,000 views a month. So she's no she's no duckling in a pond. Uh, actually, she's a quite well-known uh, YouTuber across the pond, I guess you could say. So today, we are checking out three videos that I believe stand out the most, which is uh, the chicken bolognese video, pizza on toast, and last but certainly not least, a fry up. Um, so I will be covering with minimal yet yeah, constructive commentary. So let's just hop into it. Oh, and please do not send hate towards Kay. She's a very nice woman. And I believe she is to be respected uh, as this video is meant for your entertainment and not for her torture. Hi, people. And I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be making. never made it before and uh, like I said to you before I think it was last week that I'm on my own again well I'm not on my own again it's just I'm having a go at filming on my own again um, hopefully it goes alright alright so she has no idea as of what she is doing so this might be rough uh, and those for who don't know the lore behind Kay most of the time, Lee, uh, her son, films the videos for her, so that's why she's kind of mentioning the whole filming the video herself. As you can see, I've got the pan on. Well, you can't see, but proof to you. I've got the pan on. You see that ring? Yeah, good. I've got the pan on. It's warming up. And on the video, it said to fry... You can hear me sizzling already. Fry onions and carry up together. So, oh, that's what I'm doing. Right, so we let them have a few minutes. So we're about, what, 20, 30 seconds into her frying um, these onions and carrots. Uh, and so far, I i see no seasoning so uh this is a good start good start looking horrible so now i found something in the shop i've never found never seen before and it was chicken mincemeat okay okay so now we really need to pause and just sit back and take a look at this minced chicken meat okay all right uh, now, I don't know if you know Kay enough, but, uh, she is really, like, she is really all about her minced meat, um, so this is, this is not good, and, uh, would also like to add, still no seasoning. Bits of it are changing colour. Now, on the video, when the lady did it, she used, you see, Oregano. Okay, see, now we're getting somewhere. See, in the kitchen of Kay, it, it's really hard to find her using salt and pepper. But but today, oh, oh, mwah, mwah. Today, she decided to get experimental and exotic with oregano. She put, I don't know, that half a, half a tub in. 
I'm just going to put the sprinkle on that side and the sprinkle on that side oh, oh, because I like to taste if it's a chicken brain or not uh, wait, we're doing it here uh, I like the taste of I like to taste my food not kill it with paprika or other seasonings and that I mean salt and pepper all right, Kay, listen, you, you're a sweetheart, and I adore you, but seasoning doesn't, like, cover up tastes, you know? It, it actually enhances it and uh, gives spice where spice wasn't, and just to put it this way, let's say you take a chicken sandwich, right? Are you going to, like, eat that chicken sandwich without condiments? No. No, you're not. Because, like, seasoning, condiments add a layer of flavoring that certain products did not once have you know contain so trust me k that food will still taste like that food just seasoning brings out more flavor so that's just wanted to point that out you can see 99 percent of that has changed color now it did say one stock cube and i was wrong it's not like water or tea water as I call it I don't it's not all dissolved but we drop that in and with the water that's already in it we'll dissolve it get off the fork because I'm not arguing with you now the recipes K follows I believe are real recipes most of the time and not made on the spot but I think K follows recipes but like the directions are done the incorrect way. Like she's adding things in the wrong order. But this, for, for all I know, this might be how chicken bolognese is made. And it's possible she's just going step by step, you know, in like the wrong order, I guess. Um, so just wanted to also put that in there. Disappeared. So I'm going to pour. Oh, I can't even grab hold of it faster. Come here what you get with so after it's the arm well not just the arm it's all over now I'm going to mix that in if it needs any more get all the thing like that so for my possible chefs in the comments can you can you tell the comments what chicken bolognese is because me personally I, I I think I know what it is but I'm I'm not I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest. Open this one. You can hear Lee. <laughs> shut up the way. Shut the things up. So, ah, that's hot. So, squirt, 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 squirt. I'm not putting it all in. So, I think you guys get the idea of how this pretty much turned out, uh, so let's just visit the taste test. Right, you've seen the end product. I've put some on the plate. So, let's get on with the taste test. I'm dreading this, really, because I've never had, um, well, I've never seen minced, minced chicken before. Neither have I, Kay. Neither have I. And, well, used it with bolognese sauce. Sorry about that, but that is gorgeous. I know you're going to say, oh, you put a lot of stuff in there. But the thing is, the chicken comes through. That is gorgeous. So mostly with all these videos, it's always Lee or Kay thinking it's amazing. And a lot of time, it's definitely not. Um, see, with this, I, I don't think you can go wrong. Like, too wrong. Um, but I don't think it's like do a slight moan and call it gorgeous good so with that out of the way next video hi people and i'm back cooking again and today i'm going to be making bread pizza so the title of this video is pizza on toast but she said bread pizza <laughs> um 
I, I, I don't I don't know how to approach that. Those are like two different things, both sounding really vile. But as you can see, I have got four eggs in there. Look, one, two, three, four. And I am going to, no, I'm not doing a very good job. I'm going to mix it. When she did it on camera, she did it very fast. And I can speed up if you want to, but you're going really fast. Oh, it's up to you. Anyway, I'm going to put some salt in it. Stop, stop. Everyone, stop. Salt. Guys, she put salt in her food. She seasoned the food. Man, someone get this woman a Grammy, bro. Someone get this woman a Grammy right now. And she put a lot of parsley. It's a good job I was going to tell you. You wonder what I was flaking in it. That's uh, it's a lot of parsley, but I, I, I think we should let it slide this time around. You can see I've got two slices of white bread, and the reason why it was white bread because on her video she showed white bread. So. She said, but to them, the best, 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 bread? the best, no, shut it, butter the bread the best you can. So, aside from the stroke Kay just had, um, now, I don't know if y'all are familiar with bagel bites, but it's like pizza, but on a bagel, um, and they even come prepackaged, it's an actual thing, but pizza on toast this is this this is really really interesting uh, that took a while didn't it oh, didn't it you get speech titles coming up <laughs> subtitles, subtitles yeah. right so that's the bread all buttered nicely and buttered right i couldn't get any sausages to cut up so I bought them. And these are, I don't know, I took the front of the packet off, but let's just show you. <laughs> salami K, that is salami. But I don't know why she didn't just like get pepperoni. I'm, I'm pretty sure the UK has pre-cut pepperoni slices. So I, I don't know. I think salami is a weird choice. So uh, I rewatched the clip while editing and uh i realized that, that is also pepperoni but i'm talking about the the smaller pepperonis that most people have on their pizza not like those those giant slices k is using in this video so that's what i was trying to say right i'm going to cut the tomato up oh sorry it's tomato isn't it Done. Those are some really thick tamiatos. Now that's going to go on to... Right, as you can see, I've put some, some, some... Tomatoes on. Yeah, tamiatos, please, if we're going to have a name. And it says sprinkle a bit of... I want to say chutney, but it says parsley on. Okay. Please, the the, fir the first time was enough parsley. No more. Please, no more, Kay. No more parsley. Well, maybe once the chutney. So now. Hey! Ooh, oh, not even looking at me. Oh, no, 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 sorry. My mistake. Take that off. <laughs> off you come. And then it says to pour. Oh, all of it. Oh, look. This, uh, this, this doesn't feel right. W whatever you're about to do, Kay, you still have time to turn back, you know? Um, and this kind of goes back to my comment where I feel like Kay does recipes in the wrong order. Like, I don't know where egg with parsley in it comes into play, but whatever. And unless you're making, like, an omelet, I guess. 
but this is just incorrect, right? Like, also, why full tamiatos? Why not just, like, pasta sauce, like, regular pizza? Then it says to pour... And the bread just gonna soak all that up. She didn't say pour it all on, did she? Well, you didn't watch the video. <laughs> I don't even know where you found these videos from. Just pop up. Get recommended. I'm just gonna stop this here. Um, this is really vile. Uh, so let's just see the aftermath of this war zone, I guess. And here is the end product. I told you there weren't enough cheese on there. Cheese won't make a difference, Kay. Um, like I said, I'm just here for the funny commentary. I'm not trying to be rude, but I just... I don't know how someone makes this and doesn't see something wrong with it, you know? Um, so anyways, on to the taste test. Here is the taste test. Wait, 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 hold on, Kay, you, you sneaky little, you, you, you little devil, you can't pretend to take a bite of your food and act like we wouldn't notice that, that slick little transition you did. You know damn well Lee gonna be like, oh, it's pretty good, pretty good, motherfucker will eat anything. You tried, Kay, but with just enough in-depth investigation, I figured out your tricks. Right, Kai, he's the same test. <laughs> right. Mm. Very nice, but strangely enough, it doesn't taste like pizza. It, yeah, Lee, I I would imagine so. Um, and with that conclusion, because not a lot of people are willing to watch the rest, uh, we still have one other video. So no surprise with this one. Let's head to the final video. A fry up. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today, I'm doing. Well, it's something I've pinched off the internet again. Uh, sound a little sick there, Kay. I just said to boil some potatoes for 15 minutes. Now, personally, I think it should be longer, but I'm just following the recipe that she did. Now, I've got some oil in my pan, and it says to put the meat And the honey in together. Okay, so nothing too insane right now. Just some meat and honey ons that she is frying up. So, decent start. It says to add two. Hold well on. Two tablespoons <laughs> of butter, and that is butter, as you can see. I think it's just like my American brain talking, but that that looks a little bit more than two tablespoons. Maybe it's just like the way the camera makes everything look bigger and smaller in certain cases. So I don't know. It does. It 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 doesn't look like two tablespoons to me. But it also says. Two tablespoons of flour. It doesn't say which particular flour, so I've just gone for plain. But I don't think it would really make a difference with only being two tablespoons. As you can see, the butter has nearly melted. So now I'm going to add the flour. Mix all the flour in. But it also says a good amount of salt. Salt? Once again, I'm shocked. And a good amount of pepper. And pepper? Oh my god, we are in a new era. This is a revolution. Some of the meat's still not done, so it doesn't matter. 
and we're just gonna add all <gasps> okay so y'all know what's happening um i skipped a part where she put some sage in but uh what the hell is that let me tell you that looks like an after thanksgiving stuffing when you leave it in the fridge for like three days <gasps> oh that's a lot of milk all the milk in now and just keep just keep turning it over until it's done I'm going to make sure all the milk is evaporated and then I'm going to leave it to simmer for a few minutes well like it should do leave it to simmer for a few minutes um, oh it's getting right it's, it's going right now right so yes I'm going to leave that to simmer for a few minutes and let it cook a bit more because it hasn't really had time to cook has it I think if you let that cook you might as well take a mouthful of insulation and just fucking swallow that shit. That is not going to be palatable. Just saying. Right, it's add the tip. Just put that as an hour done. It does say to add add the potatoes. Come on, get in. Oh, I think I've done too many. We did say five potatoes anyway, so. And then it says to get all the meat and ham, oh meat and ham, it's the same breeding thing, get all the ham and the onions all over the potatoes, if you can. Dear Diary, I still don't understand what the fuck a goddamn fry up is. What, what is it? I don't know. What? The end product. And here is the taste test. Okay, you stinker. You can't stop doing that. You gotta stop. You can't fool me. I know you transitioned from you to Lee. You've been caught, all right? The jig is up. The Scooby gang caught you, all right? It's so funny that, like, she fakes taking a bite. That or she takes a bite and hates it. So, trash compactor Lee over there just comes in and gobbles that shit up like you're trying to perform cunnilingus, bro. Right. Here's a taste test. Uh, yeah, not looking forward to this. But, yeah, here we go. Surprisingly, it doesn't actually taste horrible. It just literally tastes like as it is. Is the sage overpowering? What sage? Mm. It's hard. Oh, wait, bit, bit of a bit, yeah, bit of spicy a, taste. Bit, yeah. yeah, a bit of a kick. Yeah, but apart from that, um, yeah, it's actually nice. Thumbs up. All right, guys. Oh my God, I I have a pounding headache right now. Um, but this has been the first episode of Down the Rabbit Hole with me, your best buddy Das. Y'all have been awesome, and well, it's been a great 2023 with this YouTube stuff. I I thank y'all very much. Uh, I worked really hard on this video and getting it recorded. Lots of editing, tons of video watching. Uh, I I've been, I'm I'm like willing to bet that K at least got one hour of watch time from me so i i hope that feeds lee more you know that the monetization i hope it feeds lee uh whatever the fuck a fry up is you know we can eat more of that so um with that being said i love y'all and i'll see y'all later okay okay now see this is where we, we fuck i'm just gonna get a fucking notification i guess like let me tell you that looks like a thanksgiving stuffing like fuck let, let, let me tell you, that looks like a after Thanksgiving stuffing when you live it, live it, live it, what?